Hello everyone, today I will present Exploring Bluetooth Communication Protocols in Internet of Things Software Development by Min Tiu Pham and Jin Chiu Yang from Concordia University. As you may know, Internet of Things is gaining popularity in usage and you may have IoT technologies in your home right now, like smart home appliances or even on you like the fitness tracking devices that you are wearing on your wrist. An important channel to interact with these IoT devices is your smartphone via Bluetooth Low Engine, which is widely available on smartphones. The increasing popularity of IoT and BOE makes testing critical. Currently, there are a few common approaches to testing BOE components in mobile apps. In the first approach, we can manually verify that the app works with the device as specified by the requirements. This requires careful planning and good documentation. Moreover, this requires that the app and the device are both fully functional. The second approach is to set up an emulator, which does not require a functional hardware component like in the first approach and allows for some automated elements. However, these emulators are hard to set up and can usually test very small changes. The third approach is to set up an end-to-end -end automated testing system. While this approach would allow a large degree of automation, it suffers from a drawback of requiring specialized versions of the hardware and software which would greatly increase the overhead of the projects. One key challenge in BOE programming is to ensure that the correctness and compliance to define Bluetooth communication protocols. Bluetooth communication protocols, BCPs for short, are defined as the set of all commands for one device. Each consists of one characteristics and one value. In compliance can cause silent failures due to the less systematic nature of BCBs compared to library APIs. Prevalence and likelihood of failures vary depending on the complexity of the BCBs and the software programming practices. As we are interested in learning whether we can detect faults in the BLE components before proceeding to the end-to-end -end testing phase, we take the first step to study BCBs to further reveal the challenges in utilizing BLE in IoT development. In this stage, we answer the following two research questions. RQ1, what are the common styles to define Bluetooth communication protocols by firmware developers? And RQ2, how are Bluetooth communication protocols managed in software by software developers? First, we'll explore RQ1. From our examination of the documents detailing the communication protocols in our dataset, we observe three styles of BCP designs Style A, where all the commands use only one characteristic UUID, and the first few bytes serves as the unique edit command identifier. Style B, where all commands use one of two characteristics, one for sending and one for receiving, and the first few bytes serves as the unique command identifier. And then we have style C, where each, each functionality use one characteristic. In the first two projects analyzed, the first project has two BCBs that follow style A, one that follows style B, and two follow style C. In the second project, style B and C each has one BCB. Next, we'll explore the findings of RQ2. We further examined the source code implementing the BCBs in RQ1 and found a few common practices relating to the characteristics and values. For characteristics, we found that they are commonly assigned to final class fields with descriptive names, which are very important to their implementation and maintenance. Also, style C, which relies on the characteristics to identify the functionalities, would require many more class fields compared to style A and style B. As for the values, the first few bits can be used to identify the commands. Thus, for style A and B, there will be extra final class fields to store the unique identifiers for each command, which would be substituted before communicating with the device. In conclusion, this is the first study to understand the design and implementation of Bluetooth communication protocols. To answer RQ1, we uncover common styles in designing BCBs, all of which do not provide sufficient resilience on human errors. And to answer RQ2, we have uncovered the techniques to ma manage the compliance with the BCB designs. Thank you.